Okay, so in this video, we want to give an equivalent formula to find the instantaneous velocity of an object moving in a straight line at a fixed point in time, say t0. So if you recall, the idea was to find the average velocity over a time interval around t0, and then let the length of the time interval shrink to 0, and in this way you obtain the instantaneous velocity of the object at time t0. So imagine that now we add to t0 a small amount of time, so t0 plus delta t, Now that we have a small interval of time around the point t0, we can find the average velocity of the object over this time interval. Well, at t0 the y value is f of t0. At t0 plus delta t, the y value, of course, is f of t0 plus delta t. And so we can now find the average velocity of the object over the given time interval. This will be f of, so the change in f, f of t0 plus delta t. minus f of t0 divided by the change in t. But if you notice, the change in t will be the larger value of time minus t0, but t0 plus delta t minus t0 leaves us with delta t. So now we have the average velocity of the object over the given time interval and to obtain the instantaneous velocity of the object at this specific point in time, we have to let the length of the interval shrink to zero, therefore let delta t, the length of the interval, shrink to zero. And this will of course return the exact velocity of the object, which we call the instantaneous velocity, at the point t0. And again, this formula is equivalent to the previous formula, and geometrically, as the slope of this line represents the average velocity, as delta t shrinks to 0, the point approaches t0 here, so this point approaches this point here, and so geometrically, the instantaneous velocity of the object at the point t0 is the slope of the position function at the point t0. So whenever you find or want to find the instantaneous velocity of an object at a given point in time, feel free to use either formulas, the one in the previous video or this one, as they are both equivalent.